Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is the day after I got a concussion and I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, apparently if you hit the front, it doesn't hurt as bad. I've been 12 hours on the couch yesterday, 12 hours in bed, and I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. The thing with concussions is that you build up a time when it's good and then you use your brain too much and it gets bad again. So I have a question. Today I have to try and keep it calm. What? 12 plus 12 equals 24. Oh, yes! I spent 24 hours resting yesterday. Yeah, it is not looking good though. The more I move, the worse I feel. <laughs> I hate that, but I'm gonna try, you guys. I'm gonna try and get stuff done today. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. So this happened. Apparently, a cat was up there and knocked it over, all of our saddle pads. In the past, oh man, with the head shaking. In the past, I've talked about how we're gonna build a garden at this farm. Yeah, the cats have been literally wrecking life. All right, new saddle, stay put. So this is the year, you guys. This is the year I'm gonna put in a vegetable garden. I think I know where I want it. I'm gonna get Sam to work on it. We're all gonna work on it. This weekend, we're gonna have to fix our soil. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, hi, Fanny Pickle. Oh my goodness. Look at that dirty belly. Now this is the kind of horse that doesn't headbutt you. Don't headbutt me. Such a pretty pony. She is also the kind of horse that poops in the doorway. Sylvia's the kind of kid, even though people were upset that she was making jokes about being my slave, yesterday this fluffy already. this is the kind of kid that literally does whatever she can to keep me safe and to protect me people do anything for me she already fed gracie she's like i'm not letting that happen again and just a quick update about gabby uh gabby is just so much like her dad he loves to come down to the barn to his own thing and be quiet he's a quiet person oh. She's a quiet person. They're just, uh, they just are who they are. Sophie and I are more outgoing and we like being in the vlogs more. Gabby's fun in a quiet side of herself. She likes to be chill and that's okay. She's pretty happy. So this is why Gracie spooked and, and got me in the nose yesterday. It was because Molly came running up with her hula hoop, half of her hula hoop. The it was banging against the wall and that's what spooked her. And Sam says that he puts the dogs in the room before he lets the horses out or deals with the horses. And that is such a smart idea. We definitely should be doing that. Because with horses, you never know like when an accident's gonna happen. You never can be completely prepared. You can never be completely prepared for something like that to happen. But guys, I have so many fun plans with our horses. I'm gonna cook a fish today. In the next few days. I have like so many amazing fun plans okay, for us to do. Fish. Oh, yeah, this is our fish you guys. Just what I bought those lunge lines for. Yeah, I wonder why it's broke. I wonder. Makes me wonder. The paddock is a rainy mess. The grass is green as heck. Things are growing this weekend, starting tomorrow actually, when Sam is home, I plan to do a lot of amazing things. Like I have a lot of goals. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna show you guys. But one of the things I have planned is that Sam is going to get new tires for our trailer. He's worried about one of the tires. So he's gonna take the tires off this weekend and get new tires for the trailer. And then I got plans, you guys. There are some places that we can go and take our horses that are still legal. Are you trying to escape? Listen, Missy, you're the one that behaves. Don't you know it's hard for me to bend down? Ugh. You're the behaving girl. All right, let's get you out. Willow's getting a blanket on because it's not super cold, but it's rainy and there's no sun to keep her warm. So just to be safe, just to keep her safe. Missy is going. Willow is going. She got kind of spooked with a blanket. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now listen. Remember, slow, slow. That's a girl. No, go ahead. I know you want me to come with you. She got those ears pinned, but she's going slow. <laughs> she's like, look out of my way. I got the treats. Don't worry, she I got them. Uh oh, that's not okay. Here, Gracie. Here you go, treat for you, even though you are a mean girl. Yeah, that's a good girl, hey? 
It's funny, she puts her head up. She's never headbutted me or even come close. But she put her head up and I got like freaked out there for a second. We are ready to go to the barn. Gabby's got her book bag. No, her boot bag today. So if he's got her boot bag or she's gonna get her boot bag. Sam is home early. Why are you home early, Sam? Got off early, that's all. Yeah, got off early today, thank the Lord, because I do not know if I could drive. Lots of screen breaks for me today, but I feel still a lot better. Uh, you know it is spring break when the girls be playing Schleich, and by girls, I mean Sophie. She's got all this Schleich that's been out here all week sitting on the dining room table. Isn't it glorious though? Like Schleich is amazing. I can't, I've got Brooklyn into Schleich, and now I can't wait to get my youngest granddaughter, Aria, into Schleich as well. All right, we are headed into the barn. In honor of a rainy day, we are going to continue with our play date that we did the other day. The girls actually really enjoyed it and really loved it, and I think the horses liked it too. Maybe you'll use Chino today. Who are you riding today? Who are you riding today? Chino. Yeah, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit, do a little bit of different things, and we're gonna go and just have fun because our government told us that we were gonna be out of lockdown at the end of April because 40% of all of our adults were gonna be vaccinated. Uh, they're coming out with a press release today to put further restrictions on us. And I just read in the news today, Sam, did you hear this? that we aren't getting half of our um, vaccines that we were supposed to get. So there's a delay in the vaccine. Did, did you hear that? Yeah. But anyway, we're just gonna push through. That's all you can do. Just keep pushing through. We're gonna enjoy today. And I hope you guys come along and enjoy the day with us. In my coat. What? A and then my pony ball No, I was waiting. Okay, dad needs a head start. What a day. Sam's coming out in the field with us. <laughs> yeah, I wore shoes too. My barn shoes, right? Yeah, I should have wore boots. My feet are gonna be frozen. Oh my goodness! So, so Sam goes. We all go under it. Sam doesn't. Did you? All right. So. I was, I was watching a YouTube video. So this is an exercise. Oh, that hurts my head. Follow Gabby. She's got it all mapped out. Uh, yeah, just sink right down. I love Gabby's pink and blue socks. Let's play a game of find your horse's poop. You know how like. You recognize your own horse's poop? Oh, my head is killing me. Tell Amma go in that you're hurt and you can't walk that much. Okay. And you have to come with us. All right, let's see if it works. Do I see it? I see you in my way. <laughs> um, Dad doesn't know these poops. Don't that. So, oh, basically, what's happening is that we didn't even know where our horses were. They all, all the horses in the paddock. Holy crap. Can you guys hear it? Alright, well now we can go back that way. Or, look, they're just... Gabby thinks that... They're all panicked. It's because our horses taught them. Our horse, This is turning out bad. Our horses are teaching the other horses. I don't want to ride anymore. All the horses run now. Look at Finn down there watching. Finn and Storm. Are they coming? Quick, get ready to run! And they're off. Those are ours. Oakley, Chino, Storm, and Finn. Yeah, you just gotta tire them out and let them run. Them and Storm. Them. Oh my gosh. Swear, when they first, when they first heard us, was other horses heard us and all the horses were running in case it was their owners. And now the horses all know that it's their own. Like now our horses know, oh my God, never ever come here. They're going. They're going oh, no boots after a rain. All right, Gabby caught them. Gabby wrangled us some horses. A bunch of goofballs. Like they know they're gonna get caught anyway, so why put up the fight? Horses sitting in a field won't run. Like our horses sitting in a field at home 
don't run. They run to the gate. Happy horses in a big herd with things to do are a lot like a kid out there enjoying their life. And then we come and ask them to like have a nap or do something that they don't want to do, like go grocery shopping. So that's what I like in it too. It's not that our horses are opposed to us. It's oh, it's more that they're so happy doing their own thing now, which I'm glad for. All right, with Gabby's going on and on. We lost some bell boots. Yeah, we're going that way. All right, you guys go that way. Finn, you look be looking fine. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm coming with them. Good to have Sam with us. For any confusion, if Storm actually does have rain rot, but she doesn't have anything anymore, if you guys can see, his bumpy looking perfect. Couple little spots right here, you can barely feel. Um, it's not from a lack of care and being left out in the rain, it's from over care and us trying to help him with dry skin on his bum. That's what it came from. I suffocated his skin by putting too much oil on it and caused the issue. So he's doing great. And we've cleared it all up and, he's be, and he is doing awesome. And it was really fast. As soon as I figured out what was happening, I changed the course of treatment. Our vet is the one that told us to, to do it the way we were doing it because it didn't look like it was rain rot. He still says that it was, I treated it like rain rot and it disappeared. Like that is looking good. Look at that butt. Yeah, you see it. He's like, yeah, I scratched that butt. <laughs> All right, he's had his bum done, his medicine, some treats. It's just a little bit of oil he gets. That's all he gets. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that his bum's done. I don't think I'm gonna have to treat it again. Not a single more time. Like if you get it in the right light, almost looks normal. Just a little bit of short, short hair, but it's growing in really good. He's doing great. Woohoo! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I get stressful when your horse is funky. I brushed him and shedded him a little and bye storm. See you later, handsome man. Gabby is almost ready. She's got this big handsome man. Look at that trim. Like they've been looking good. He's like, oh no. Why is storm leaving? It's my turn. It's your turn, handsome. It's your turn, even though I know you love to be out with your friends. Okay, we do not judge Finn's cleanness. Why do we not judge Finn's because cleanness? he was wet, and then he rolled, and now it's just like... Mud. Wet mud. mud. All right, you guys ready to I see it? See Are you ready to see the fin? All right. Really nice. Here it goes. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad, you guys. His legs. Oops. Side. All right. Oh, look at that tail. And this is the side of worry. You guys will see better in the light. Yep. I feel like I like hurt my thumb or something. All right, you're okay, Finn. You're okay. A little dirty, that's all. My dream when Sam comes to the barn, I'll show you my dream. I love a man in broomsticks. I love a... <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Just kidding. What you see is what you get with Sam. He gets yeah. grouchy sometimes and says dumb things and and offends the women in his life. But for the most part, he's pretty easygoing, especially the older that he gets. Uh oh, we lost Sophie's whip. All right, I'll go luck. I'll go luck. You be looking good. You be looking muddy. Did you even brush his legs? I forgot, no judging. All right, we are done for today. We are headed home. What makes this tapping noise? Listen. Those are running. hollow. Mom, <laughs> guess what I did? What? I charged my phone before we came. Oh my God. After you've already used all your data. All right, see you later, big handsome men. We'll be back. But you have the whole weekend off to relax. In anticipation of our government shutting us down even further, Sam and I are back at TSC getting what we need. So, getting some stuff to fix up our field for the girls. Don't forget to get the tightener, right? 
he does that, I'm going to go look at seeds. Because this is the year of the garden. Look, you can't even have chairs. No furniture. Oh, But I can get these. So, silky ones. Carrots. I always grow peas. I'm trying to decide if I should get lettuce for the dragon beans. Alright, we are home and I'm going to show you guys what we got when we were out. It might not seem like much, but I got this greenhouse starter kit. You can hold 15 little pots. So basically we're going to be planting a garden this year since we can't do, since we can't do anything else. Can so, I make watermelons? Yeah, I bought you watermelons. And what else did you want? Carrot. Can I also do pumpkin? Yeah, I bought pumpkin. Okay. Actually, those aren't real pumpkins. I just bought I little, oh, whoops, oh. ornamental pumpkins. I got carrots for Sophie because she begged me to get carrots. Um, I got tomatoes, peas, more tomatoes, beans, some romaine lettuce. I got all the Guess stuff. Guess what I'm doing? What? What are you doing? I'm making a cast. Yep, Sophie's making a fat cast. A fat cast. A cast because it's Friday night, you know? She, she just squeezed it. What else are you going to do? What are you doing Friday night? Um... I don't know. Yeah, we got no plans. You we got know why nothing. I'm a cast? Why are you making a cast? Because my thumb hurts. Oh, I used to do that. I used to do that. Let me see. The nail's growing under. It goes right here. The Let me nail. see. Let me see. Because you can feel it. Ow. Oh, you have an infection because it's dirty. So it's Friday night. Sam is just getting ready to go down to the barn. I feel so much better now. I feel a lot better. That was easy in terms of concussion. Oh, do you want to see my nice trick? All right. All right, drop it. Good job. <laughs> this dog is amazing. Oh, she can also leave it. Do it again. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Good girl, get it. <laughs> okay, now tell her to drop it. Get it, get it, get it. Drop it. Good girl. Good job. But okay. you know what she can't and, do? And, hang on, come on. No, 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 wait. Come on up. Woo! Okay, okay. But do you know what she can't do? Whoa, geez, Louisa, you're gonna get a concussion. Listen, do you know what she cannot do? Do you know what this dog cannot do? Good job! My cat's gonna stay in my bed. Yes, she sleeps. Because of dad, he takes her out in the mornings. And then she comes, gets him up, and he still takes her out. Oh my gosh, it is a nightmare now. It is a nightmare. This dog comes into our bedroom five times oh, a night and tries to sleep with us. Uh oh. Get it. Every night now, Sam and I are like saying, go, go back to bed. Get, Get out of here. Get go. It. And she goes or she Get paces around. And yeah, she's Get become annoying. Really now. Slightly Get annoying it. now. Get it. She may All be right, smart, but she is annoying. Leave anyway, it. that is it for today's okay, video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to do something really fun tomorrow at home because we can't go anywhere. The government just increased our stay-at-home order for another two weeks. So instead of four weeks, like originally thought, it's gone to six weeks. And the police are able to stop you if you drive out of your driveway. And they can ask you where you're going. And they can ask you for your address. So yeah, fun times on the day-by-day -day farm. Why would they need your address if they stop you if you're going out of your... Because you're not allowed to go anywhere out of your area. Grocery store, and that's it. To the barn, and that's it. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?